From the YouTube Dog Show, this is Week of Update with Ellie Mueller, and now, fresh from Charlie Sheen's Private Shadow. I don't know what that means. Ellie Cunning Mueller. Ha! Greetings, my grasshoppers. Ellie Cunning Mueller, welcome you to Week of Update. Oh, you grasshoppers tonight. You doing all right? Good. Good. We're gonna let this sensei take you away to a place of relaxation. Yeah, sort of. Now, you know who the shout spotlight winners are, right? It's Red Smart Edits. Hulk Box. Hulk I I I, the Golden Fighter. You know, one is an editor, the other one is the guy who loves the Incredible Hulk and World Box. You know, he has two channels. You got another one who loves making music versions of you know, our fan edits. And you got Cypher Dark 2 Gaming. Uh, he gave me a shout uh, earlier today, and in the spirit of YouTube, I would like to give him one in return. Because he's a nice guy, he's a nice gamer, and let's be honest, he's totally totally there. Now, tonight, we are talking about Charlie Sheen. Huh? Well, shut up and I'll tell you. You see, he was the star of Two and a Half Men on CBS. Of course, he got in trouble in 2011 and he had to go to the FX network. Kill, Charlie! I mean, come on! You need some anger management classes. Oh, wait. You had a show called Anger Management. Never mind. <laughs> Never mind. Now, He's trying to bring his classic show back, you know, Two and a Half Men. Well, ABC has already canceled Roseanne, so why not? Now, it had nothing to do with politics. It was funny, and everybody loved it. Right? Well, then go ahead, who can... Now, as usual, we end the monologue with a top eight list. Tonight is no exception. The category for this evening is Top 8 Tips for Charlie Sheen as he tries to bring Two and a Half Men back. Number 8. Tell your old castmates first. Number 7. Pitch it to Fox if ABC says no. Number 6. Don't even try to fool network executives. Number 5. Make sure that the pick is actually funny. Number 4. Perform the show's theme song for the network executives. Number 3. If all else fails, then try and call me. Number two, if you need more help, then call Neb519. And number one, bring Rose back as a regular character. All right. Now, I have an interesting fun fact for you folks. All right. Now, before Two and a Half Men came to the world, did you know that Charlie Sheen also acted in a movie entitled Major League? It's true! I mean, who would have thought that Charlie Sheen would have become an excellent baseball fan? Strange, huh? Very, very strange indeed. Now, let's bring out MP and the pink cat. No, 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 Charlie Sheen is a really good actor, okay? But why are some people giving him flack? Well, for one reason, one reason only. And that reason is... One word. Winning! All right! That word that made him lose his job on Two and a Half Men. Precisely. But wait a minute. Wait a minute. He lost his job, but he managed to get another one like a year later. Don't ask. Don't ask. Well, now we know why Tony Sheen has a tough time getting past this. You are. Hello, people. Come here. Hey, are you here? Let's talk about Mr. Charlie Sheen, eh? It seems I'm the only one in a soup. Now, Adam, did you know that Charlie Sheen is trying to bring back Two and a Half Men? 
Why? Well, Roseanne lost her TV show again, you know, not to low rates, but because of an offensive tweet. How? Well, let's be honest, he made fun of uh, black people. But here's the thing, all right? You know, King doesn't make fun of black people, but look. Look at this, right? Muslim Brotherhood and Planet of the Apes had a baby. That's offensive to the tens right there. Now, we're getting a little bit off track here, but, you know, what Charlie Sheen said recently, adios, was there good wins, hashtag not winning. The one way is now clear for all reboot, hashtag Charlie Harper returns. <laughs> Well, anything is possible. I mean, uh, we already got Last Man Standing on Fox. Uh, uh. Two and a half. What, was that? Was that even a good show? Actually, yes. It had nothing to do with politics, and it featured, you know, a divorced dad and an uncle living together with one young boy. That doesn't make it good. Well, good. it lasted uh, twelve years. Actually, thirteen. So I'm guessing it's good. Oh, so why not bring it back? See if any of the cre cre creators have a new brain and thought of a new uh, a new idea, eh? Yeah. Now here's the thing, right? His winning ways, you know, got him fired from Two and a Half Men in 2011. Wait. Wasn't he the guy to make food fight? Have I mean, he was in the food fight, but he was the uh, the Dex dog detective. Oh but. no! Oh well, that that that's it. Uh, die! You suck! No! Oh. Alright, now what else? Well, uh, it can't be, uh, that hard on the guy. I mean, he does have, uh, a huge uh, disease known as, uh, HIV. So, uh, you know, he's trying to get help. He's trying to, uh, get better, you know? When he was on Two and a Half Men, he was making $1.8 million a week. Per episode. Like I said, per week. They okay, film uh, the show every week. I can have those shit where it's like, two episodes coming today. Guess what? That's over three million dollars in this pocket. Like three, three, three point six maybe? Yeah. Damn. You make some good money. Wait, think of this, people. Three point six million dollars. Dollars per two weeks. Would you quit your job to get that much m money for picking a fight with the world's biggest man? That's ridiculous, huh? Yeah. Okay, so. Now, here's the thing, okay? You know, he said that in comparison. To the amount that the series was making, you know, on TV, he was being underpaid. And that's why a production of Two and a Half Men went on hiatus in January. Huh? I would love to be underpaid 1.8 mil. Should be like, quite as a button. And that's one of the reasons why CBS and Warner Brothers fired him on March 7, 2011. He was replaced almost immediately by Ashton Kutcher. Okay. Because he was technically underpaid? Technically underpaid? That's complete BS right there. And he demanded a 50% raise. Yeah. And he tried to sue uh, CBS and Warner Brothers and the creator of Two and a Half Men, Chuck Lore. Well, he believed in... You know what? He took risk. 
he said, fuck it, I'm, I'm doing this, and I'm sticking to it. And, and for that, you are good in my book. He is a man. He goes, uh, I, 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 I want to do this thing. Uh, he does it. He did good, man. He did real good. Maybe, maybe even the best. Alright. Oh. So, what do you say? Oh, I wish him uh, luck in uh, bringing back two and a half men because um, if Fox could make uh, Last Man Standing work, then more power to yeah. Miss Machine for bringing back two and a half men. Of course, he has to uh, talk to uh, Chuck Lore about it. We're proud of you, Charlie Sheen. You've had some rough times, but looks like you're finally about to do something right for this war right here. That's the shop boy and I, folks. I'll see you tomorrow. That's the news. No mouth keys. Farewell, bye, farewell.